And do you have some uh, technical suggestion for a good implantation technique? Yes, uh, especially for left main, I strongly recommend intracoronary imaging to have precise di dimensions to select the uh, appropriate type of uh, stand. Then the lesion must be predilated, of course, that the uh, device can uh, open adequately and postdilated. So these are the, the main issues. It's easier than working with conventional stents because, as um, the colleague explained, it's not necessary to perform, for example, pot maneuvers or something like that, but preparation and post dilation of the core lesion. This is, these are really essential steps. And then for the, for the side branch, it's up to, to your decision how, to, to, how your strategy on the side branch is uh, the side selected. The takeoff should be <coughs> no more than 75 degrees. Yes, that's important to mention. So it, it's uh, ideally for more steep uh, angulations to the side branch. And then it's really easy just uh, um, put a, a wire inside and open it by, uh, by balloon and that's all. So, so yeah, side branch fitting is very easy. Is and also another aspect, this device for bifurcation is ideal for the provisional approach, which Absolutely. is the most recommended for uh, the, the, the uh, yes. AeroPCR also guideline. So you, you treat the main vessel and then you decide the side branch. If you want if to you, go or If not. need and necessary, you, can go, you may go with another stand in the side branch in the 10-15% of the cases according to the provisional approach. So you it's, make it really simple. Yeah, I fully agree because I'm a user of this uh, stent, this technology, and uh, I feel very comfortable with this. The last generation that is balloon expandable with a, a source of a cover uh, that you retract after, uh, but makes the positioning very precise and not, not stressful for, for the physician. And also the last generation is Sirolimus looting. Yeah. The first generation was Pachydaxel. We know the Pachydaxel is not so strong yeah. in preventing stenosis. The Sirolimus is much better. And also we know that the late loss of new, new, new devices is much better than the first generation. Just one technical aspect. <coughs> if uh, after implantation, um, there is the sheath uh, between the stand and the vessel wall. The, the, the stand is protected by a sheath because it opens automatically uh, if the sheath is open. And if you pull the system, the balloon system out, you will feel some resistance, resistance. and friction. Yeah. And you have to be careful not to, to deep engage uh, with the guiding catheter. So just Absolutely. pull a little bit on the guiding. Be, be aware of that. There will be some friction. It's not a problem. It's smaller than a, than a, a trapped uh, a wire or trail wire, yeah. so it's easy to, to retract. Good but there's some resistance. Very good suggestion. So I think that we can sum up. This is an interesting uh, technology. It's a self-expanding stand in nitinol, S medicated with serolimus. Is balloon expandable, although is uh, uh, self-expanding. So the balloon is useful for implanting the stent, but after that we need a, and after the pre-dilatation we need a post-dilatation in order to accommodate the stent to the vessel wall, that, which is very, very uh, useful and appropriate, indicated, uh, for uh, mismatch vessel, large vessel, bifurcations, aneurysm, tapered vessel, where the caliber is uh, changing from a part to another and is a technology that makes easy the life for the interventionist and for the patient in specific cases. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.